We'll have a look outside where we're tracking another severe weather threat and severe weather team two is keeping you ahead of the timing to help you plan your day. New from overnight, a teenager shot and killed inside his home. Police say we all have to be mindful of extra stress everyone is under. And you will hear a lot about this today. We're making sure you didn't miss the governor's new response to these words from the president about Georgia starting to reopen. I told the governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, that I disagree. Live, local, link breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News this morning. Coverage you can count on. 6 a.m. on this busy Thursday morning. It's Thursday, April 23rd. Good morning. I'm Linda Stouffer. Good morning to you. Hello on your Thursday. I'm Fred Blankenship. Here right now is a live look at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. And you can see, yes, it is wet out there. But we're making sure you are ready for the storms that are on their way. We've got you covered this morning with live severe weather team two coverage. Channel 2 Steve Gelbach live out on the roads in severe weather center two. Meteorologist Brian Monahan and Ebony Dion. We start with Brian. You are tracking the timing of these storms. Yeah, this is one of those days where there's a lot going on all the way through the day and things are going to change minute by minute. We're going to be here with you every step of the way in severe weather center two. So this morning as you wake up, I want to let you know there's no severe weather out there this morning. It is wet. It is really wet in part of North Georgia, but no tornadoes, no damaging wind gusts. That's the threat later this afternoon. Right now, it's just good old fashioned heavy rain falling from Somerville and Chattooga County down to Rome, down to Cedartown and into Paulding County. We've got rain. Eventually, we'll see the chance for a few stronger wind gusts later this morning. But for now, watching the downpours through Cleburne County and Randolph County in Alabama and in and around Metro Atlanta, north side picking up some steady light to moderate rain from Cherokee County to North Fulton and over to Gwinnett County. It is raining this morning in Lawrenceville, Snellville and Lilburn. So here's your severe weather threat today. I want to give you a little snapshot of what to expect for today. We're going to have two rounds, one this morning, another one this afternoon. Now this morning, mainly going to be heavy rain. We could mix in a little later this morning, a few strong wind gusts and the possibility for a little hail. But the one we're really worried about is going to be late this afternoon into early this evening. And that's the one that's going to have that potential for some strong tornadoes, especially south of I-20. So you want to have a severe weather plan and be thinking about it already first thing this morning. This morning, we've got rain steadily falling across North Georgia through 10 o'clock. We're still going to have pockets of heavy rain. And then as a warm front lifts north, that's going to increase our risk for severe weather later this afternoon. More on that coming up. Right now, though, we need to get you, we need to get you out to Channel 2's Steve Gelbach. He's live in Severe Weather Chaser 2. And you have moved from Cobb County to Douglas County, and I can hear the rain, Steve. Yeah, the further west we're going, Brian, the more rain we're seeing now in Douglas County on I-20. Just coming up on the Chapel Hill Road exit and that steady rain falling here. But we've been checking with Tree Power Road Crews to see what precautions they're taking just in case that second round of severe weather and more powerful winds hit later today.